What's going on Beamer fans? Welcome back to Beam Review. Today we're going to be doing a full breakdown of the BMW 5 Series. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, Beam Review, what we do here is teach you everything there is to know about BMWs. We go over every single vehicle, teach you every single hidden trick in the book. So if you have a BMW and if you want to learn everything there is to know about it, subscribe to this channel because we put out content every single week. Also, if you have one of the new BMW key fobs, we did find these brand new cool BMW key fob covers for the new style key fob. So if you want to see this in the Amazon store, feel free to check out the links right down below and get you a pair so that you can keep your key fob looking nice and clean. So everyone, for today, we are in a BMW i5. But for today's tutorial, we're going to be covering features that almost every single 5 Series has. So if you do have a 5 Series that is on order or if you just got one, definitely stay tuned for this whole video because you will learn every single thing there is to know about this brand new vehicle. So yes, for today's video, we're going to be doing a walk around of the exterior of the vehicle and then we'll actually move inside to the vehicle and go over every single button and then we'll jump into the brand new BMW iDrive 8.5 system and do a quick overview on that. But you can be rest assured that by the time you are done watching this video, you're going to learn a ton on your BMW 5 Series. So stay tuned. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So we have another BMW i5 here and I decided to show you everything there is to know about the front of this vehicle because the lighting here is really nice. So first off and foremost, we have the grill. Now again, this is the BMW i5, so that is why our grill here is going to be closed but there are some pretty cool things that are going on here so as you can see we do have the square rectangular box that is going to be where our sensors are for driving assistance professional if you don't know what that is that is the package you can get with your bmw where the vehicle can drive itself which is super cool and then right over here we do have a camera and right above that it's kind of hard to see but this little slot right above the camera can actually pop out to clean your camera as well. And again, if you have the parking assistance package, you're gonna get cameras all around your vehicle and some pretty cool features that come with that too, which we'll go over as soon as we sit inside. Also right along the front bumper, every BMW does have these circular sensors. There are now actually six along the front and six along the back as well. So you can see that there's sensors right there. There's also one right there as well. And of course we have our one in the front that is located right over there. And again, three on the other side. So in total we have six in the front. Also, depending on whichever configuration you get for your five series, you could also get a light up grill. So this grill that we have here can actually light up at nighttime as well. Now moving right along to the side of the vehicle, this specific i5 M60 that we have here today does come with the really cool optional 21 inch rims, which they do look really cool in person. Going along the side mirror here, we do have a LED strip located right along the side, which does light up whenever you're taking a turn. Also, if you were wondering where those two side cameras are located, there is they are both on the side mirror. So we have one here on the left and one on the right side mirror as well. And also on the door handle, the only thing you really need to know about this door handle is that this is gonna be the little strips that you touch to lock the vehicle. Again, you don't have to do that because these new vehicles, they do have this really cool feature called comfort access. BMW has been doing that since about 2020 for all their new iDrive 7 vehicles. So this vehicle basically has comfort access. Again, what that is, is basically whenever you're walking away from your vehicle, it can actually lock the vehicle. And whenever you're walking towards your vehicle, it'll unlock itself. That is a really handy feature, especially if you have a brand new 5 Series because these vehicles do come with Digital Key Plus. So you never have to take out your keys. And now you don't even have to take out your phone. Also, if you were wondering, this is a little bit hidden, but if your key fob was dead, you could of course pull out your manual key. And if you're wondering where you could insert that manual key, it is actually located right behind the door handle right over there. And so they did do a good job of hiding that, which is very, very convenient, but that is gonna be where that is located. So moving to the rear of the vehicle, of course those same six sensors that we saw in the front we're also going to see them right back here we've got one right there on the side we've got one right there on the corner panel and of course we have the two located right in the back of the bumper as well in total we have six along the back so let's go ahead and check out the trunk space of course bmws they do have a handle or a button way back here which you could use to open and close the trunk so definitely utilize that and now checking out the trunk space this is going to be a big big one for many people now i will say that the trunk space is quite narrow in terms of the height, 
but it does go back very, very deep. And if you ever did need more additional space, you do have the same levers that BMW has been doing for a long, long time. So you could fold down those three seats back there as well. Also super cool thing with BMWs, many of the vehicles do have this under compartment right down here. So if you had a ton of items that you not that you would not be using every single day, you could place those right here and never have to see them. Now, of course, this is a BMW i5 fully EV vehicle, which does come with this flexible fast charger. So you do get a flexible fast charger and you do get a, a adapter that connects to that as well. Right over here, we have a tow hook in case you ever had to tow your five series. You can always plug that into this little slot right here. There is a cover that can pop out. So yes, you could actually screw that in and then you'd get your BMW 5 Series towed. Hopefully you never have to do that. Inside here, we're just gonna have extra lug nuts. Many BMWs do come with wheel locks. So these are just the, the older lug nuts that came with the vehicle that got replaced. Also, if you were looking for your wheel lock key, that could also potentially be located right in there as well. So that is gonna be the wheel lock key to remove the wheel locks. We've got a nice handy compartment right here if you want to use that. And in case if, if anybody ever got trapped in the trunk, you could also pull on this to get yourself out. It does also glow in the dark, which I didn't know, which is pretty cool. Check that out. And of course, you saw from below there that there was no spare tire. BMW does not do spare tires no more. They only now come with a mobility kit. What's really cool about this is that they now started to do some Velcro, so you could actually stick this wherever you want. But yes, that is a mobility kit in case you ever had to use it. You probably never have to use them because BMWs from the life of the vehicle do come with four years of roadside assistance. So keep that in mind. Of course, we have two buttons way up here that can close the trunk. This will simply close the trunk. The one on the right will close the trunk and lock the car so that you can walk away. The trunk does have hooks all over the place. So we have a hook right here. We have a hook located right there. There are also two located deep within the trunk, left and right. And of course you have your one right here as well. So there's hooks all along the trunk in case you needed to bungee cord a box that could be shifting around. Moving right along to our fuel cap door or our charger door, depending on whichever one you have. Of course that charger we did have can go straight into the here. If you had questions about the charging uh, BMW EV vehicles, we do have a one-on-one -on -one charging video that has been taken off a lot lately. So definitely check that out at the end of the video if you needed a tutorial on how to charge BMWs. But yes, we do have our plug in here. This light corresponds to this little sticker right here, letting you know the status Again, for that, we also covered that within that video as well. One brand new thing that EV vehicles are now starting to get, starting with this 5 Series, is the ability to unlock your charge cable from this button right here. So yes, before you would have to use the app to unlock your charger or you would have to go into the system to unlock your charger but now they simply just put a button right here so that you can simply just pull out your charger. If you have a regular 5 Series, you're going to see your fuel cap door here and if you're wondering what type of fuel to put into your bmw 5 series you will see a sticker located right there as well letting you know what type of fuel the vehicle can take usually for bmws it's always middle or higher all right jumping into the back seat of the 5 series there's been some major changes here and that all looks really really good so yes let's go from left to right so in this specific configuration we do have some shades located right here there is also one tab right there for another shade that can pop out right there as well so don't forget about that one. Our door handle is all redesigned now. It's actually really, really easy to grip. This vehicle does come with the Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which is probably one of the best ones that BMW makes. Sounds phenomenal. Jumping right over here to the back of the front seat. Now BMWs, they have this cool little system called the travel and comfort system where you can get certain adapters that can plug into this little slot right there. You get things like a tray or a hook that could hold onto your suit jacket or even a iPad holder for your kids. And what's really cool, they also come with a USB-C plug-in which can go right into there so that iPad can be nice and charged throughout the whole time. Or if somebody was back here trying to charge their phone, they have easy access to a plug-in right there. Speaking of USB-C slots, there's also two more right down here as well so people could use that. And our buttons for heated seats are gonna be located right there and right there if the vehicle came with it. Cool lighting controls way up here. They are all touched. We have one for the left side, one for the right. If you were wondering what these little slots are along the top of the vehicle, there's also two in the front as well. See right there. Those are actually the microphones that would be used whenever you're on a call. So that's how people can hear you. Lastly, we have some handles here. We have a hook right there in case you need to hook on something. And of course we do have our middle compartment with this tab. You can actually fold that down and then you have some cup holders here. Some BMWs do have a slot right here, but this 5 Series does not. And also with all the headrests, you can raise and lower them. What I love about BMW is that they do take into consideration the driver's point of view. So this middle one is actually nice and flat so that you can actually get it all the way down so that it is not in your view. And speaking of the headrest, there are adjustments for the headrest that you could use right here. And this button that BMWs have, you actually use that to, to move the headrest front or back. Right now it is in the back position, but if you want the headrest to pop out more, you can actually do that by pushing it in and then going forward. While we're back here, this BMW 5 Series does have 
have this super cool glass moonroof. Keep in mind that for this specific configuration, the bigger moonroof that you can get for this vehicle, this glass cannot open. You do have a shade and that shade is gonna be located right there, which can be controlled from the front, which we'll check out in just a bit. Also, in case you were wondering, if you were to get roof racks on your BMW 5 Series, this is the slot that you could plug those roof racks into. There are four along the top of the vehicle. We have one right there, one right there. And we have, of course, our two in the front located right over here too. All right, so now let's power up the cockpit. Ooh la la. The sound never gets old. All right, so for the next portion of the video, we're gonna be doing a full breakdown again of all the different buttons within the vehicle. We're gonna cover it as much as we can. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So looking at our door handle here, right up here, we have our seating assignment. So with the BMW 5 Series, because the wheel is electric, which you can make your adjustments for that right over here, along with the side mirrors being electric and along with your actual seat. All three of those functions can be saved to your seating assignment, which is gonna be right over here. So we have set one and two. If you wanted to save your seat, your seating assignment, along with your side mirrors, along with your steering wheel, all that you would have to do would be to just hit set and then one. And just by hearing that beep, that is how you can save your seating assignment. Keep in mind that each BMW profile or BMW ID can have up to two different settings. So potentially you can have up to four different settings all together. We do have our lock and unlock here. The BMW 5 Series does have this really cool LED strip, which will light up and change colors at nighttime. And of course, this button is gonna be not really familiar to many. This is gonna be our seating menu button. If I were to click on that, you can see that it brings up our seating menu. So right over here with this screen, you can actually make your adjustments with this guy here too. You can actually raise your seat, lower it and whatnot. So yes, you can make your seating adjustments through the screen here, but more importantly, there are gonna be more functions on this right side here. One of the biggest complaints or one of the biggest features that BMW clients have wanted for the longest time is the comfort exit feature, which is gonna be this guy here. So now, just like the other luxury brands, as soon as you turn off your vehicle, the steering wheel will go up and your seat will actually move back as well so that it gives you room to get in and out of your vehicle. There are some more seating adjustments that you could do on this side. And of course, we do have some tips right over here as well. That menu was all through this guy right over here. Of course, we have our door handle, which again, does feel really nice, super easy to grip. And now moving right over here to the door controls. So on our door controls, there's a few different things going on here. BMW did change the design of their side mirror adjustments now. The functions are still the same, but the layout and the look of this is all brand new, which is really cool. This button right up here will actually fold in your side mirror. So you can see that the side mirrors just folded in on both sides and now I'm gonna open it. So yes, that button will open and close your side mirrors. And then we have our two selector switches for the left side mirror or the right side mirror. And our circular dial that we have here is gonna be what is gonna be used to, to move around our side mirror. You can go left, right, up and down. Of course, we got our window controls. They are all automatic, which is very, very convenient. We do have our child lock for the windows located right here and we have our button for the shade located here as well. If I were to press that, you can see that it just brought up our blinds or our shade way back there. And now if I push it one more time, it will actually bring that back down. So that is what that button will do. We have our handy dandy trunk button located right here. Keep in mind that yes, if you push that down, it will open the trunk. But if you hold it up the whole time, you can actually use that to close the trunk as well. But you have to but you have to hold it up the whole time, so keep that in mind. Next up, we have our simplified lighting controls. If you were wondering what this guy is, it's located all around the front cockpit of the BMW. This is how we can open and close the vent now. It's a super sleek design, and the touch to that actually feels really, really smooth and clean as well. So yes, our lighting controls, we have headlight on at all times. This is where you wanna keep it the majority of the time, which is an auto. And if you need to turn off your headlights for whatever reason, say for example, if you were running from the cops, you can use that to turn off your headlights as well. This button right here, again, just like our seating menu button that was located right there, this is gonna be our exterior lighting menu button. So if we click on that, it brings up a exterior lighting menu located right over here. Inside this menu, you could turn on your parking lights either both of them or just the left side or the right side depending on which lane you're parked in one really cool feature you need to know about is going to be your automatic high beam function before bmws they used to have it located on the left turn signal stick right over here but now they moved it into the digital system which is located right over here so that is going to be your button for automatic high beams highly recommend you use that feature it's very very convenient we had our adjustment right here for the vent to either open or close it and now we have the other adjustment for our vent for the direction of the airflow. You can go left, right, up, and down for the vent. Again, this is a really smooth design. So going to the steering wheel of the BMW 5 Series, 
This vehicle is a M Sport vehicle, so that's why we do have our M Sport steering wheel here, but the functions on all of them are all gonna be the same. As always, BMW keeps their cruise control settings on the left side of the steering wheel. This is gonna be the on and off switch for it. This is gonna be to adjust your speed. You can do it by increments of one mile per hour, or if you do a hard push, you can do it by increments of five miles per hour. Whenever you set the speed for BMW's cruise control, it will just set to the speed of the speed limit, not the speed that you're going. Whenever you turn on the, the feature for cruise control, it will automatically set the speed that you're going at. So you never really have to hit set unless you're just trying to go with the speed limit. Right below here, we have our mode button. Now mode will do different things depending on whichever package you have. If you have the really cool BMW driver's assistant professional package where the vehicle has adaptive cruise control, it can stay in the lane, steer all by itself, and now they have this feature where if you look in your left side mirror, the vehicle will actually change lanes all by itself too. Yes, you heard that right. If you look in whichever side mirror, the vehicle can change lanes all by itself, which is a really brand new cool feature. But yes, going back to the mode button here, if you have driver's assistant professional, you're gonna see that there's different modes popping up right below there. Right here, we can see two different modes that you can choose from. It's not available right now because we are stationary. But there is also a third mode that pops up called Assist Plus, and that mode will pop up whenever you're on the highway going at a certain speed. Assistant Professional, you get three different modes. If you just have regular cruise control, you're just gonna have that one standard cruise control mode. If you were on the fence of getting that Driver's Assistant Professional package, I would highly recommend it, especially if you do a lot of highway driving. You can do a hard push to keep that turn signal on, or if you do a soft click, it will just blink three times. Again, we're in a M60 today, so we do have this really cool paddle called Boost. It's super, super useful for passing vehicles on the highway or if you're going onto the on-ramp. What Boost will do will maximize the performance performance of the vehicle and give you a nice boost for a good 10 seconds. So say for example, if you were driving and you wanted to pass a vehicle in front of you, if you hold down boost, it will give you 10 seconds of maximum power and it will basically make the car feel like a rocket for a good 10 seconds. Of course, we have our nice little horn, which works really nice. On this right side here, we have our multimedia controls. This is gonna be the volume down, volume up. We have our gear icon, which we'll come back to. This is gonna be for music or media. If you press on that, you can see on our head up display, that a musical menu just popped up where you can choose different sources of music. Right over here, we have our voice command. Voice command is very, very powerful. There's two different types of voice command if you're connected to the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. But if you do a short press, you're gonna get BMW's voice command, which is the personal assistant that you can see right there. But if you were to hold this down and if my phone was connected to Apple CarPlay, you would get Siri pop up on the screen as well. And then you could tell Siri to make phone calls or write text messages. We have our phone button here, which is used to pick up a phone call. You can also use that to hang up a phone call as well. And if you just click on it with nothing going on, you can see your recent calls pop up on your head-up display. We have our dial, which is right here, which is gonna be used to control the menu that you see right up there. You can push down on it, go left and right. This dial is also gonna be used for this gear icon right over here. If we click on this, it brings up a menu. So this is very, very new for the new iDrive 8 vehicles with the curved display. But now you can choose different types of content that you want to show in your instrument cluster. So there's many different kinds. We have our standard view right here. But yes, if we go straight down content, you can see more things like your trip computer, your total miles. If you wanted to reset your trip computer, all you would have to do is hold down this button and then that will reset your trip computer. We have a range prediction view located here, which is for EVs. Right over here, we have a assisted view where you can see vehicles, and objects pop up on the screen that whenever you're driving on the highway. This one is probably one of the coolest ones. It is our augmented view, which uses the front camera to show whatever is going on in the front of the vehicle. What's really cool about this one is that if you're using the, your BMW navigation, you'll actually see the arrows virtually pop up on the screen here as well. So it helps you so it helps let you know when your next turn is coming up. Next up, we have a compass the screen will also show your next turns that you that you will be taking. Right over here, we have our BMW map. Pretty cool. Now, finally, we can get Apple Maps and Google Maps to pop up right up there, depending on if you have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So those maps will now be integrated into that, which is really nice. The last few ones, we have our G-Force meter, which is gonna be a sport meter. And lastly, it's gonna be one of my favorites, is gonna be our media. So whatever music is playing, you're gonna see that right smack dab in the middle. Next up, we have our wipers. So with the wipers, is one notch up to go into auto. And then if you keep going up, it goes into low or high and this button right over here just controls the sensitivity whenever the wipers are in auto you can have it go faster or slower so that's a quick rundown on the steering wheel let's move on up to the instrument cluster that we have located in the middle so with our instrument cluster if you have an ev vehicle you're going to see your state of charge right over here you were in if you have a gas powered car you're going to see how many miles you can drive per fill up we have our speedometer located here 
If you're wondering why this screen may look different from your 5 Series, this vehicle, again, is an M60, so it is gonna get this really cool M-style display, which may look a little bit different compared to yours, but the functions are still the same. Right here, we have our time. Right here, we have our speed limit that will change to wherever we're driving. Our seatbelt status is right here. We have our mile per hour, our digital mile per hour. We have whichever gear we're in, and we have our power meter located here. There is a tachometer that you could get, but you do have to go into sport mode to get to see your tachometer pop up right, right over here. Our outside temperature is, is at 73 degrees, which is a nice hot day for October. And on the bottom right here, we have how many miles we can drive in between a charge. Also, if you're wondering, again, if you have the driver's assistant professional package, this guy right here is actually the infrared camera that can track your eyes and make sure that you're paying attention to the road. If your head movement is shifting to the left or the right, or if the sensor is blocked, it will knock you out of self-driving mode. So keep that in mind. That is also how the vehicle can also change lanes all by itself whenever you look to the, your side mirror as well. So yes, that does cover our steering wheel. There is also a head-up display where there are different layouts for that. If your vehicle does have a head-up display, keep in mind that you can use this gear icon located here to change through different layouts for your head-up display as well. Also, this middle button that we just briefly missed called layout, you can actually change the layout within your vehicle as well. This is a nice simple view. This is your standard wide view, and this is gonna be your sport view. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to our center stack and our center console. So as of right now, there are three main BMW systems or operating systems going on right now, which can make things a little bit confusing, or I should say four which makes things even more confusing. We have our old iDrive 7, which is the layout that used to look like this. BMW released a iDrive 8 system, which had a layout that looks like this. And now for this vehicle, we have the brand new iDrive 8.5, where they did get rid of those vertical widgets. And now we just have a quick select widget box located right here. And those same main menu icons went from this left side here to right over here on the bottom middle, which makes things much more convenient. And just in case you were wondering, they are releasing BMW iDrive 9, which does come with some new hardware. It is gonna be on an Android-based tablet, which is gonna be which is gonna make things very, very smooth. iDrive 9 right now is only available for the brand new X1s, but the majority of the vehicles right now in 2023 or at the end of 2023 are gonna be with iDrive 8.5, which is what we have here today. On iDrive 8.5, again, you do have your quick select widget box here. They did make this very, very smooth, which is really nice. But yes, you can go up and down. You can also go left and right, depending on whichever widget you are on. This portion right here, they call it a stage. You can change whatever is on your stage. The way that you would do that is there's a hidden white tab located right here. If you swipe that, go into the left, you can change your different menu located here. By default, it's on navigation. You can go down to my modes, and then this screen will now change depending on whichever sport mode you're in or whichever or if you're in comfort mode, personal mode, or if you're in eco mode. I personally don't find that too, too useful. We have live vehicle here, which will show whatever's going on with your vehicle, like how the power is being distributed. Also, if you wanted to see your sport displays, BMW still has that, but it is a little bit hidden now. You have to be on this live vehicle page. And then once you are, you have to switch into sport mode. So go into my modes. And then if you go into your sport mode right over here, you can see now we have our sport displays located right over here on the left side. So that is how you would bring up your sport displays. Also moving right along, our last one here, which is probably gonna be the one that I would use is gonna be media. So media can be located here which you can see whatever's playing on the radio. Also, there is one other tab that is quite hidden and that is gonna be this little one right over here. BMW did get rid of their one through eight shortcuts that you could use in your older BMWs. They now converted that into this digital screen here. Your eight shortcuts can still be programmed here. And the way that that would work is say, for example, if you were in your main menu, which is gonna be this little guy here, you can say, for example, go into your vehicle status and set that up as a shortcut. All you have to do is just click and hold it and then once you do, you can add it to a shortcut. Once you add it to a shortcut, if you, now you go down on this white tab, you would see vehicle status located here. You can do that with radio stations. You can do that with BMW addresses, BMW navigation addresses, pretty much almost anything you could think of. So yes, that is a quick overview on the home screen of your BMW 5 Series. Now to break down this portion right down here, if we go into the first one, that is going to be our media, our media sources. This is where you would go to change your audio source to either music, 
to either FM Radio, Sirius XM, or if you had Apple CarPlay or Android Auto or even Spotify, you would see that all through this musical note, which is right here. Again, that goes into media. Next up, we have our navigation. So depending on whichever navigation you are using, that is what you're gonna see on the screen. This is where you can go to punch in a address for navigation to use your BMW maps to get to wherever you wanna go. My personal opinion, use your BMW voice command and then just tell it wherever you wanna go. That is the quickest way. Next up, we have our climate control settings. Now this one's huge because BMW did get rid of their climate control buttons. The only climate control buttons that we have as a physical touch are gonna to be our two defrosters for the front and for the rear. But now they have this new digital menu for your climate control. So this is going to be the on and off switch for your climate control. This is going to be your fan speed. This is going to be your air circulation, AC, auto mode, directionals for your air, max AC, which is great for the for the summertime. You can sync your two temperatures right over here and here. And of course, we have our fan speed for the passenger side. Now, this is the simple way to use BMW's climate control. But if you want manual control, keep in mind that things could get a little bit complicated. And I'll show you what I mean. If you knock yourself out of auto mode, you're going to get this new style screen, which is right here. So this is the screen you will see for if you wanted manual control for your climate control. The way that this guy works is now you're going to see this as your fan speed. And then your directionals, which used to be located right here, are now going to be controlled through these little streamlined things you see. So if you want the air to blow from the top, you'd either turn that off or on. And if you want the air to turn off from your top portion, that would be that right there. If you wanted the air to turn off on the bottom, that would be right there. So that's how you're gonna be controlling your direction of airflow with these three guys here. And then of course, as I mentioned before, this is gonna be the fan speed for your air. So that is gonna be how you're, how you're gonna be using your manual control for your climate control. Personally speaking, I like to keep it in auto and then just adjust the temperature however I like and set it and forget it. Also, one of the things that is huge, you're gonna see that there is no buttons for, for ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, or even heated seats. That is gonna be now located in this little icon here, which is gonna be a little hard to find. If you go into this, you're gonna see three additional boxes pop up here. If your five series has ventilated seats, you're gonna see that here. We have our heated seats located here and we have our heated steering wheel located here. Next up, we have our main menu, which is going to be these four square boxes. Once we go into that, you're going to see your main menu here where it has a cluster of every single setting within the vehicle. This is where things can get a little bit confusing if you're seeing it, if you're seeing it for the first time. But I will say that the easiest way to navigate through here is going to be using this browse menu located here. You can literally search whatever you want to look for, whichever setting, and it will just make your life much more easy. So say for example, if I wanted to look for head-up displays, if I wanted to do it the hard way, I'd have to go into here, go into displays, and then click on head-up this display, and then I would arrive at our head-up display menu. But with the, of course, with our browse menu, we could literally just type in head-up display, and then you will see head-up display located right over here. Then you can just click on that and now you're here much more fast. So that is going to be the best way to use this. Keep that in mind. Just use your browse menu for whatever you're trying to get to. We have a breakdown of every single menu item located here for iDrive 8. We are going to be doing one for iDrive 8.5. So stay tuned, subscribe for that. We're going to break down every single icon within that video. So definitely stay tuned for that. Lastly, we have our phone button right over here. Now, if you're connected to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, this would bring you into the phone. If you were also connected to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you would see another icon located here, which would either be Apple CarPlay or an Android Auto. You can also access that system by clicking on that button. Again, we're not seeing it right now because my phone is not connected, but you would see that here. Moving right down, we have our controls for our vents. Again, right over here. Our defrosters, our hazard lights. What's really cool about these hazard lights is that if you click on it, you can see this LED strips start to pulse too, just like the 7 Series. We have more vent controls with these guys here. Going right down, we do have an additional slot for another phone for your passenger or your wife or your significant other. So now she can place her phone here too. You can also charge your phone right over here. What's really cool about this cutout now is that BMW did have an issue with their wireless chargers overheating a lot. So now they did make a built-in fan. And so now you're going to get some airflow that goes right through here too. So now there is a fan built into this guy as well. So that will solve that problem. Problem. But yes, they did make the wireless charging tray big enough for two phones now, which is really cool. Going right down, we have our cup holders. Keep in mind, this is kind of hard to see. If you were not looking for it, keep in mind that your chargers for your phone are going to be right over here. They are both USB-C now. Every new phone that is coming out now is going to have these chargers. So they did get rid of 
the USB standard. And now going to our center console, there's a lot of different things going on here. Of course, we have our start stop button. We have our new shifter here, go up for reverse, down for drive, do a soft push, going back up again to go into neutral. You're gonna see right here that there's a B mode. If you had a gas powered vehicle, you're gonna see that there's an S here. So let's go over what B means. So if I were in drive, which I'm in drive now, and then if I were to click down one more time, you could also do this while you're driving as well. You can see that the vehicle is now in B mode. What B mode is, is basically BMW's version of their one pedal mode. So, so say for example, I have my, my go pedal here. Of course, if I push down, the vehicle will begin to go. But if I were to gently let off, the vehicle will actually come to a stop as well too now. So all you would really have to use is just that one pedal look in here to do your day-to-day -day driving. Of course, you can still use your brake if you have to, but this one pedal mode will make things much more smooth. And it is something where if I had an EV vehicle, I'd probably be using that B mode as well. If you didn't have B mode, if you had a gas powered vehicle, you would see a S. That S just simply goes into sport gearing mode, which will hold your engine RPMs more so that you get more power. We have our park button here, which is gonna serve the same as the emergency brake. Auto H stands for auto hold, which is a brake holder. If you were going up a hill and then didn't want the car to roll backwards, you can use that. And then it will hold the brake whenever you come to a complete stop. It's also great to use whenever you're in a stop and go traffic. Here we have our main menu icons. Keep in mind that these three icons here just serve as shortcuts for these three here as well. We have our home button, which is very convenient. It just brings you back to the home screen. We have a back button, which is right here, which is also very convenient. It brings you back to the previous screen. P button here is gonna be very, very interesting because again, this vehicle does have parking assistance professional, which gets you some really cool things, such as the vehicle being able to park itself. You can see that it's already trying to look for a spot right now the way that it works is that you'd have to drive past the spot once the car scans it and knows that it can park there you'll see the option to park the car located here too but yes this is just the panorama view you can go into your assist view and see your parking sensors there there's cody right there just trying to photobomb my video <laughs> you made it you made it <laughs> you're famous and then if you go down to right here where it says more you can see some more options of course we have our 3d view which here you can go around your whole vehicle. I'm using this controller to just go around it. The vehicle will just do this all by itself depending on your parking situation. Of course, we have our car wash view, which you can see that the black lines will move in front of the car to help you align yourself going into the car wash. We have camera cleaning, which will actually clean the camera in the front. So yes, yeah, some other cool things you would get with this parking assistant professional package is gonna be things like route record, where you'll see the option right here to record a route that you would take every day. Say for example, specific manures you would use to get into your parking garage. The vehicle can remember those movements and park the vehicle for you while you're in the vehicle or even with just your my bmw app which is all brand new tech we'll actually do a, a separate video on that showing a live demonstration so it makes more sense again that package also allows you to use the app to park the car as well or even move it front and back so all that was located in this little guy here also if your parking sensors were going crazy through a car wash you can just press on this to turn off those sensors and that will keep the car quiet. We have our driving settings menu here. If you click on this, it brings up a menu right up here, which you can go adjust your lane departure or even things like your safety settings or just the way that the car drives. You can all do that through this little guy here. My mode's pretty convenient. This is where you would go to switch into sport mode, efficient mode. These two modes right here, expressive and relax, will, will change the ambiance within the vehicle. Most of the time, we're just gonna be in personal mode, which is the standard mode. So that is gonna be in my modes here. Keep in mind, you can use your BMW voice command to change through different modes too. You can also use your BMW voice command to change the temperature within the vehicle. So yes, use your BMW voice command to do many of the different things within your vehicle. It could even do things like close the blind, which was the one that we saw in the back. We have our circular dial here. They did make it a lot more smooth. You will notice that this specific controller is, is all made of glass. This vehicle does have the executive package, which gives you some cool glass controls, such as this and this right here. We have our volume knob. This is gonna be the volume knob going up and down. You can push down to pause. If you hold this down for about 30 seconds, you can actually do a system reboot, which will help you whenever you're having phone connection issues. So keep that in mind that is a fix that fixes many phone condition problems and then right over here we have our track seeking you can go backwards to your last track or go next or go to the next track as well right over here we have a cubby the cubby does not no longer have an, a usb-c port they did get rid of that 
but you do have a 12 volt socket here in case you needed some adapter to go into that and you got a nice little space right here to play some coins or whatever may be small this vehicle does have the garage door opener which is going to be these three little buttons here if you're wondering on how to set up your garage door opener with your garage we did have a separate video on that so check that out pretty simple two-step process and then we have our controls way up here on the ceiling so our sos is a two-step press so if you push that once you can see the actual orange switch right there which will make the call to bmw assist and then you can let them know if you need 911 help we have another lighting menu which is right here this will bring up our interior lighting menu this is where you would go to change your led lighting within the vehicle which you could tell voice command to do which is really cool this is where you can go to change the brightness on the screens you can bring up some reading lights so all that was in this little guy here. This vehicle does have an interior camera, which you could use for selfies. Or if somebody was trying to steal your vehicle, this would actually take a picture of them. We have some reading lights here on the left side. We have a reading light right here. And right here, we have another lighting button right here, which will turn on every single light within the vehicle on the inside. Uh, and that is also touch as well and right here we have our slider for our shade keep in mind that because this glass is the bigger one it cannot open the glass but this button right here will simply just control the shade for this vehicle lastly to almost wrap it up we're just going to check out the seating controls which are located here we have our lumbar support here and our switch right here can now can be pressed to raise the seat or go down on the seat and you can use this to go forward and backward on that back seat right there. If you needed to raise your headrest, you actually do that through here. You would think that that button up there would, ha would help you raise the headrest. But the way that you would do it is by pushing this up from the bottom. So if I push it up, you can see that the headrest is going up. So that's how that works. So yes, everyone, this is going to wrap it up for the 101 tutorial for the BMW 5 Series. If you all did have any questions, feel free to write it down below. And I'll be sure to get back to you. I get back to every single comment. But yes, in my personal opinion, the BMW 5 Series is a spectacular vehicle. I do really like the redesign that they did. It did take a couple weeks for, for it to grow on me, but now I do love it. Definitely subscribe to this channel. Again, if you had any questions, write it down below. Don't forget to check out those key fob covers. They are very, very useful. And also feel free to check out our Amazon store. We do have plenty of BMW accessories on there. So definitely go ahead and check that out now. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to this channel, like the video, and I'll see you all for the next one.